things turned out, me and my buddies found a pretty interesting one. mismatched bunch of rejects placed to serve our country as cannon fodder. My name is Preston Marlowe. They could have thrown me in jail for what I did, but instead, they transferred me here. This is my story. Private Preston Marlowe reporting for duty, sir. You sure you're in the right place? I believe so, sir. This is B Company, right? Yep, sure is. But you want to cut out that sir, yes sir crap? I'm a sergeant, not the goddamn president. Okay, sorry sir. I mean, sergeant. Yeah, whatever. That one over there, his name is Sweetwater. Hey, welcome to the sandbox. His name is Hacker. Hey, how you doing? You smell very clean. My name's Redford, you can call me that, or Sarge. We're all in this mess together now. Right, Sarge. Do you know what squad I'm supposed to belong to? A new guy trying to smell, like a brand new toy. Yeah, I'll give you three to two. He's dead by Friday. Sarge? You can ride with us. New guy. New guy. Okay. Let's get to know the others. Haggard over here, he's a natural born demolition expert. What? I just like it when stuff blows up. Yeah, and that's just fine as long as it's the enemy yeah, stuff. Yeah, the tree water. But if you ever need somebody to talk a hole in your head, guess who's your guy? That's a cheap shot. I don't really talk that much. Shut up. Bravo Come one, on. Charlie. This is Mike One Juliet. Over. Oh, uh, listen, it's the new dispatch girl, Miss Tulane. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Over. You ought to move up ahead of the convoy to scout the terrain. I'll get back to you with further orders. Out. Oh, she's got a real nice voice. Sweet one. Check it out. It's Calvary. Yeah, isn't it amazing how we always go towards the fighting and they're always flying in the opposite? I hope those are our guns. It's a beautiful sound either way. Listen up, boys. Ah, typical. Drink your wine and sweet. It's about time we got some action. Look at the new guy. He's... Oh, look, a new 
guy's dead. Already? I was just about to learn his name. I think it was probably Joe. Usually is. His name is Preston. Preston Marlowe. And he's not dead. Right, soldier? Let's see if you're okay. Try following my instructions. Look up. Okay, now look down. You feel okay, Marlo? Hey, new guy, get your ass over here. Crouch under the car. There you are, new guy. Oh, you sure don't smell so good anymore. <laughs> well, welcome to bad company. Damn, you're a mess. You sure you're still alive? Use the auto injector. It's good stuff. Gets you back on your feet. That's what I'm talking about. Good as new. Looks like your weapon took a beating as well. Let's find out if it works okay. Try hitting those barrels over there. Yeah, everything seems to be working fine. And make sure you pick up any extra ammo you find in crates or on fallen enemies. We can use all we can get our hands on. You know, you can shoot grenades too. Try blowing a hole in that house. It's fun. No need using the door. Just make your own. This vehicle's busted. Marlo, grab a power tool. See if you can fix it. That's the power tool you've got there. Hold on to it. You can use it to fix any broken vehicles. Marlo, get this piece of junk on the road. Good job, Marlo. Maybe we'll keep you around after all. Yeah. Thanks for pimping my ride. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. Uh, the dulcet tones of Miss July. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Over. We're getting some heavy shelling from grid 641. You've got to go ahead to take out the artillery base. Out. You heard the lady. We're taking the artillery base. That's not playing it very safe. My middle name is not safe. Well, actually, it's, uh, Gordon, but, uh... Now, let's move out before those Russians get their act together. So what are we gonna do, Sarge? We just gonna run straight through the enemy lines? Yeah, Haggett, that's a great idea. Or we could use the vehicle over there. So, the field manual's kind of hazy on four-man assaults on heavy artillery positions, but I was thinking maybe, uh... uh... let's just get up there and kill them to teeny tiny pieces. No, listen. We're not taking any chances. We go in as a team and we stay in cover as far as possible. Now move out. This is our stop. Eyes open, okay? And Sweetwater, just shut up. What? I didn't say anything. What you just did. That's not fair. Who you are, but what am Shut I? Shut up! Stay low. Multiple hostiles up ahead. I spot some reds. We have enemies inbound! I can hear it! That's the hit! Squad! Push up!
One, Juliet, you want us to use the enemy guns? Over. Affirmative. Bracket the hostiles by the bridge, boys, but be advised. We've got friendlies in the area. Ow. I ain't gonna do it. If I hit our guys, y'all gonna yell at me. Hey, crazy idea part two. Let the new guy do it. Good one. Marlo, stay sharp. Convoy seeing those enemy vehicles inbound. Start hitting those targets ASAP. We have impact on targets. Impact confirmed. Okay, that's confirmed. Vehicles neutralized. Okay, the shot's out. Keep that finger the on the shot trigger, Bravo is one, out. Charlie. Sweep away the bugs. Over. Okay, we're on it, Mike. One, Juliet. Out. 
I could sure use a break from all this walking. Why don't we try to find some ride? Oh yeah! We could get one of those monster trucks. Like, uh, Truckosaurus Rex. I bet that surprised the hell out of those Russians. I really don't know how to respond to that, Haggard. Great initiative, new guy. This is perfect. Well, it ain't Truckosaurus Rex. Should we check out the house? Negative. Could be something valuable inside, though. Yeah, looting is an old wartime tradition, Sarge. Marlo, you take a look. You're letting the new guy do it? That's not fair. Let him have seen us. Romeo down. Find cover. Hey guys, we got some Russians coming. Get him off me! 
Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie, over. Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet. Great work at the River Passage, boys. I've got a new job for you straight away. You are go for Objective Mustang, over. Could you tell her I said hi? Objective Mustang, affirmative, out. Okay, listen up, boys. There's a farm due west, possibly held by Russian forces. We're going to scout it and clear out any hostiles. new guy. I bet you're wondering how three nice guys like us ended up in bad company, right? <laughs> I bet he won't be wondering for long. Well, Haggard got transferred here for blowing up the biggest ammo dump east of Paris. I myself accidentally uploaded a virus to the Army Secure Network, and the Sarge... Well, why don't you tell him yourself, Sarge? I made a deal. They cut my term short if I agree to transfer here. Only problem is B Company has the highest mortality rate in the Army. So the Sarge is really playing long odds. For three more days, then I'm going fishing and you can have this war all to yourselves. So we'll pretty much be playing it safe from here on. Rusty! 
doing great. Are your friends, Marlo? Do you hear that? I thought I heard something. Is this another joke about me talking too much? Because if it is, I can tell you that... He's right. It's coming from the barn. Oh, crap! Hey, Carlo! I don't think out that tank! Carlo! There's nothing else to take down that tank! See what we can find! Back to smoke. Feels good, doesn't it? I remember blowing up my first tank. Mm, mm, mm. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike one, Juliet. You've got air support inbound. Stay low and wait for the bird. Out. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Super 6-5. I'm inbound to your AO. Hang tight. Out. Got a visual on the LZ. Stand clear. Out. Here's a 6-5. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, hell, man. Right. Having trouble getting an evac chopper to your position, so you're going to have to keep working for a while. What's your status? Over. We're good to go. Over. We are rerouting your squad to deal with the anti-air battery at Objective Impala. This is your new objective. Out. Listen, guys. Objective Impala is an anti-air enforcement. Our orders are to take it out. Gear up. I wonder what Miss July would like to do for a weekend getaway. You wouldn't have the guts to ask her. This is a war, Sweetwater. You don't get the weekend off. 
Yeah, well, someday this war's gonna end. Wash your mouth out with soap. can have some great fun with it. Just be careful with your players. Use this before and blow up those guns now! Teamwork, guys. Okay, regroup.
Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. This is Bravo One Charlie Actual. Over. Great work on those AA guns. Not quite time to kick back yet, though. The trucks you spotted seem to be headed for a farm to the east. It may be a supply dump, and if you're still in the fight, you're our best shot to take it out. Over. Yeah, yeah. We've got it. Over. Then you are go for Objective Bronco. Out. Okay, guys. It seems we've got another farm to secure before I can leave for that fishing trip. Buckle up. Hey, Preston. You wouldn't have a couple of bucks to borrow me. Don't give him any. He's always trying to borrow from rookies. Yeah, because you die so fast that most of the time I don't have to pay back. No offense. No, why should he be offended? Heavens to Betsy. You're just trying to steal his money while you wait for him to die. I figure if I hit a hundred rookies for ten bucks, that's uh, ten thousand dollars for the Haggard Retirement Fund. Yeah, or you could use it to brush up on your math. Yeah, when you're rich, you don't need it. Reinforcements coming in. Are we gonna do this whole offensive by ourselves? I mean, weren't there one or two other guys here a while ago? You know, the U.S. Army? Oh, uh, they're on their way. But well, we're gonna have to hold this place until they get here. We've got a vehicle moving by the bridge! Oh, demolition, guys! This is gonna get messy! Need to hold this position just a little bit longer.
enemy truck from the south. You're getting better. Uh, Russian tanks or the truck of swords wrecks. Tanks? Sure, it has firepower, obviously. Jaws on the truck of swords wrecks. Man, I've seen them shoot for solid steel.
go. Stand clear of kill box and wait for the fireworks. This is Sierra Zeman at 12 miles now, bearing 270 Angel Street. Hope you enjoyed the show. Juno Convoy is rolling again. Good job, boys. Now move in and clear out remaining hostiles. Out. Are those guys really Ruskies? I don't think so, Hags. Man, I have a bad feeling about this. Bravo 1 Charlie Actual, reporting success on Objective Taurus. Over. You've done great, Sergeant. And you're all still there? Over. Actually, I think we've lost Sweetwater. Come again? Over. Dismiss that. Out. Sweetwater! Oh, sorry, Sergeant. I'm over here, Sarge! And I think you'd all better get in here. Boy, this better be good. You haven't gone and hurt yourself, have you? If they ship you home as well, I'll be alone with the new guy. Uh, <laughs> come here, take a look at this. He's not Russian? Nope. We got ourselves a mercenary. One of the Legionnaires, no less. Whoa, the Legionnaire? I thought that was just a spook story. Nah, he's real. Got his own damn army. Some say the deadliest in the world. Now look at this. Acta non verba. That's the Legionnaire's motto. It's Latin, and it means action, not words. Hang on, I was at the Taco Emporium. I think you'll find that Spanish. Oh, just shut up. Then your motto should be verba non actor, because you never shut the hell up. Let's get out of here. Uh, you, you should listen, Sarge. Knowledge is power. For example, rumor says he always pays in gold bars. I'll just check uh, for a pulse in his pockets. Well, slap me hard and call me Eldorado. Okay, Eldorado, let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, finders oh, keepers, that's no, no, So, that's how it started. We found this little piece of gold. To people with less moral fiber, that might have posed a problem. But, we're all men of duty. So, when the sergeant said the gold belonged to the army, we all agreed and got back to work. With Uncle Sam being so busy with the war and all, and the gold bar being so small, we thought it was best if we held on to it for him, splitting it four ways. Not that everybody was happy with that arrangement. Well, maybe it won't buy you a whole truck, but you can start with the hubcaps and build from there. 
Shut your trap, Sweetwater. Oh, we're going to Zabagrad, huh? Nice place? It's 20 clicks behind enemy line. In Port and Harbor. The Army's launching on offensive, and we're going to be the first ones to go in. Haven't they got guys specially trained for that? Well, we're going in before them. They're too expensive to waste. Yeah, that makes sense. Weren't you supposed to be shipping home about now, Sarge? Tomorrow, Haggard. One more day of this shit, and the only thing I'm going to be fighting a blue mark. Yeah, I hear you, Sarge. Next up, the Caribbean. Well, after Zabogram. Zabogram a ding dong. I'm out of here, boy. Good hunting. Hey, sweet. Ain't this the same fancy thing that was on that dead guy? Acting on Verba. Yep, sure is. Let's check it out. Could be a trap. Hey, new guy, you check it out. Let's move out. We've got some Russian movement over there. They haven't seen us. And if they do, it doesn't really matter, because we're easily replaced and we won't be missed. Hey guys, we got some Russians coming! Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet. Over. This is Bravo 1 Charlie Actual. Over. You are go for objective backfield. Out. Okay, listen up guys. Our armored division is moving in, and our job is to cut off Russian supply lines before they get here. Let's get ready. This is the plan. We hit the weapons depot first. Once we have that area secured, we regroup and we move on to the fuel dump. Excuse me, Sarge, but wouldn't it be easier to do it the other way around? Or, or we could split up into teams and take them both at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Or I could shoot the two of you and do this thing along with Marlo. Uh, okay, we'll do it your way. You're the boss.
Russians are on the move. Smell gold. Good work, Prez. But we split it four ways, you know. Didn't we just shoot these guys? Well done! Weapons Depot destroyed! Infantry approaching. Special ops sighted.
Watch your mouth, Haggard.
Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. We have a Russian advance team approaching the bridge. They're your priority target. You cannot let them control the bridge. Over. Mike One Juliet, we spread real thin down here. How about some air support? Over. Bravo One Charlie, negative on support request. I've got nothing for you right now. Can you deal with the situation? Over. Yeah, we can deal. Out. I hate being dependable. Sarge, see that thing over there? I think it's a Russian mortar guidance system. Interesting. Bet we could use it against them. Hell of a bet, Sarge. Hell of a bet. Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. I've got some good news for you guys. The attack on Zabograd has started. Continue to city limits and hold for further orders. Out. You heard her. We're moving in. That's fine with me. We get in first, maybe you'll find some gold. That's not why we're here. You want to sail the Caribbean? You gotta buy a boat, right?
Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet. The Russians are in better shape than we thought. We need you to take out the defensive positions. That's objective offside for the record. Out. Did she sound a bit upset? I thought she sounded upset. That can't be a good sign. Must have been something you said. I said? I, I never talked to her. Listen up. Objective offside is a backup plan. It means our tanks are in trouble. You better get those guns right now and stay in line this time. Man, this is no way to make a living. There's a bright side. Great! That's the first one! Keep them coming! Silencer? There's the next one up ahead, second floor! That's not the sleigh shot! Yep. 
Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. This is Bravo One Charlie Actual. Over. Seems you saved the day again. Things got a little hectic up here. Over. Yeah, well, they're pretty hectic down here, too. I can hear you, Sweetwater, but you're doing a fine job. Over. She knows my name. Focus, boys. Focus. Your orders are to rendezvous with the armor division at the beachhead. Out. Rendezvous at the beachhead. We're moving out. She knows my name, Haggard. She knows my name. I've been thinking about Miss July. How do you know she's good looking? I have this cousin who has a beautiful voice, but a face like a can of dog food. Is that the one that you dated? Yep. Cool. Well, well, look who decided to show. Better late than never, I guess. Even though we've already pretty much finished the job for them. How come those guys get all the cool toys? They look good in those photos they stage for the press. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Your orders are to join up with the 32nd Armored Division for the final push into Zabograd. Over. Yeah? We were hoping for some R&R &R at this point. Over. That's just gonna have to wait. We're low on troops right now, so Command is throwing everything we've got at that town. And that includes your squad. Over. I hear you. Out. Perimeter at this location. 
All right, we need to make sure that these tanks reach East Zabograd or the attack will fail. Stay close to them and keep your eyes open. boys. We got him through. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Over. We're gonna keep you out of the main battle for a while. But there's something else I need you to do. Over. I bet there is. Over. I need you to find the Zabograd command post and disable their communications before they call in any reinforcements. You do a good job on this? Maybe I can get your boys out of bad company. Over. If it's getting us out of here, we're all over it. Right, Sarge? Mike One Juliet, we're gonna go take a look. Out. Let's move out.
Есть! Бомба пошла! Вот вам! Out of here. John Lick. Spot some rescues. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Looks like you were too late, Sergeant. They made the call. More hostiles inbound. Over. We moved as quickly as we could. Over. You're supposed to go home tomorrow, Sergeant. This is no time to start making mistakes. I need you to get your act. What was that? Bravo One Charlie, you've got a new priority order. We have a downed tank in the city square. I need you to find a good defensive position and protect it until our engineers can get it out. You hear me, Sergeant? Over. Roger that. Any further information about what they're throwing at us? Over. No intel on that. I'm sure he'll find out. Out. We're on it. Out. You heard her. We go to the square and we try to get a visual on that tank. position. Whoa, man. Am I glad to see you guys. I got myself into a bit of trouble here. <laughs> you guys don't got any jumper cables on you, do you?
Okay, we're clear. We're clear. Where's that goddamn army? The enemy's advancing. Hey, enemy coming. Didn't we just shoot these guys? That was all of them. Regroup! Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. The enemy is evacuating a large weapons cache. Should be a good opportunity for the final push on the harbor. And try not to screw up this time around. Out. Harbor, eh? You think there might be some mercenaries down there? Why? Because you think they may have some gold? Yeah. Let's go. out. Looks like we're walking. Let's go up this hill here. We need a better view. actually did it. You think we're gonna get that transfer? I don't know, but you've deserved it. Yeah, right. Hey, check it out. Down by those trucks. Those are mercs, right? Looks like them. Shouldn't we stomp them? You know, uh, ask some questions, maybe search them? Our orders are to secure this area, so I guess... What? No, hang on. Well, what happened to not taking any chances? What about playing it safe? These guys could be dangerous, and you're going home tomorrow, remember? This will only take a minute.
Dead, dead, all right. Come on, Haggard, can we get back to the others now? Nothing. Not even a nugget. Where are they going so fast? You lost them, you imbecile! Now I know what I'm doing. This is a shortcut. You know what you do. You know what you do. If I had a penny for every time you said that, I wouldn't be needing this gold. Those are the trucks. I told you it was a shortcut. They're crossing the border now. We can't follow them any farther. Where did the hack go? That's a neutral zone. Haggard, fall back! He can't hear you, Sarge. If he could, he wouldn't listen. I hate to say this, but we have to go and get him back. Do we, W, do we really have to go and get him back? I mean, have to? Move out. Listen. Watch out for those Russians! More bad guys! We got some Russians coming!
есть! Бомба пошла! Вот вам! So, Haggard had pretty much single-handedly invaded a neutral country. Not the best move. Is this your idea of fun, Haggard? Well, yeah. May I ask you why? The gold! Didn't you see it? I mean, Sweetwater can never swallow a piece that big. Just shut it, Hag. Give me one good reason that I should not send your ass to jail. Well, because you love me, Sarge. In a Plutonic way. Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet, over. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie, over. I hope you have a very good explanation for this, Sergeant, over. It was my call. We had to, you know, retaliate a hostile. You know, a threat, over. Just get yourselves back to base, over. That's fine with me. I was planning to go fishing anyway, over. You're facing court martial. I don't think you're going to go anywhere for at least 9 to 12 months. Out. Shit. That was bad, wasn't it? That was bad. It was bad, Hags. It's about as bad as anything we've ever done. Whatever no. you've done, it's as bad as that. Not like Chris Kristofferson's third album. Oh, bad. Worse. Worse. Oh, no way! Let me think. Let me think. So, where does this leave us? We're here, ain't we? What? Where'd those trucks go? Oh, no, no, Sarge, you can't be serious! Yes, I am. What? You want to go after the gold? I'll never get any medal from the army, will I? You guys coming or what? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that this is happening for the right reasons. Gold sweets, 24 carats. What kind of motivation do you need? What do you think, Preston? Hell, I guess I could use a couple million, same as everybody else. Uh, guys, wait up! I think the trucks went up that way. I'm gonna catch up with them. Sarge, Haggard's running away again. Shit, look at that. I know, he runs like a girl. No, I'm talking about something else. I bet we just got broadcasted live to every shooter in this godforsaken country. But if we blow the antennas, can't track what you can't see? It'll get the U.S. Army off us too, Sarge. Stay down! This place is 
crawling with snipers. What the? Sniper! Infantry approaching. and move on to the next one. up we can do whatever we want and that would be trying to steal a truck full of gold from the world's deadliest mercenary well it beats flipping burgers for a living i really hate to admit that that is an argument of quite impregnable logic what did you just say i'm afraid i see some coming Red's coming. Sniper! Keep your head down! God! Sweet! Give me cover fire! Now! Shit! Sniper! Hit the dirt! 
Hey, sweet, do you keep an eye out for those trucks? You know that greed's one of the seven deadly sins, right? So it's killing people. Uh, no, actually, you're thinking about the Ten Commandments. Now, the seven deadly sins are greed, avarice, oh. lust... Sweetwater. Just shut up. Absolutely, Sergeant. He's moving. the gargantuan trail of destruction we left. You idiot. Anyway, now what, son? Oh. Yep. Sniper rifle. I like those. You can keep it at a distance, you know? Enemy! Enemy! Go for us! Go! Head for the barn! Go, go, go! call you Preston, by the way. Well, can he call you Gordon? Hey! Nobody calls me Gordon. How about Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Yeah. Liz? I will accept Liz. But you better not call me it, or I will be very angry. You wouldn't want to see me angry, Preston.
Me off our backs for a while. Let's go look for those trucks. If we really find anything, it's equal shares, right? Where do you think those trucks are going? I think there's a harbor that way. You know these things, and I don't. That's really weird. Well, that's why I'm in charge. Yeah, about that. Now that we're a wall. You're not really a sergeant anymore, are you, Redford? Hmm. Either you do as I say, or I'm gonna have to beat your ass into submission. Yeah, okay. It was just, you know, uh, a technical question, Sarge. Well, don't ask me no technical questions. Look! 
Actually, forget Druckasaurus. If we find that gold, I'm going to buy one of these.
This place is heavily guarded. Well, we're heavily armed. Are we really going in here? I know the trucks are in there. I just know it. All right, let's have a closer look. Infantry approaching. I suppose they have to stay up. It should be like a, a Take cover! Come on, bastard!
Tell me about the Legionnaire. Cargo holds loaded with gold, right? Lots and lots of gold. Let's take a look. This place is swarming with mercs. I bet the gold is around here somewhere. Stay low. Tango's all over the place.
We're compromised. We have a always wanted to say that. Why? Sounds cool. Really shut him up. You shut up. Look around. That arm. Say goodbye to the gold. So, I wonder what jail's gonna be like. I hear the food's pretty good. Yeah, I got a feeling the food is gonna be the least of my problems. Dropping the soap is what I'm worried about. I hate that. It's all mush in your hands. You can't grab it. Slip you two just shut up. Even though Sadaristan was officially neutral, military intelligence was suspicious and dying to get a closer look. The four of us, already officially AWOL, just happened to fit the bill. Instead of sending us to prison, they gave us an offer that, you know. So, explain this one more time. First, they're angry with us for going into Sadaristan, but then they send us back in. They want us to find Zavomir Sadar. Zavomir, sir, did you say? Zavomir Sadar, father of the people, local dictator and all-around creep. Officially, he's neutral, but he's been playing both sides in the war for a very long time. Maybe his luck ran out. Anyway, we're here to persuade him to come in with us, all undercover style. So now we can go in and, and no one's gonna mind. Officially, the army's got nothing to do with this. If anyone catches us, we're still AWOL. Now let's find that observation point. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. You back with me, Sergeant? Over. Yeah, we've got a little sidetrack though. Over. An objective of your own? Over. Yep, didn't pay off though. Over. You pull this one off, you can start thinking about that fishing trip again. Over. So I've heard. Out. Is that a golf course? Of course it's a golf course. That's what dictators do. Build things they really don't need while their people starve. Hey, there's our chopper. Flying really close to those bases, though. Ah, it shouldn't be a problem. Officially, they're on a search and retrieve mission. So Daristan guys won't touch it. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Shit. Oh, shit! Shit! Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. 
Looks like these guys ain't neutral anymore. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. We know, we know. Now get moving and find Sadar and- Yeah, but how do we get him out without an extraction bird? Over. I was getting to that. There are three enemy SAM sites. You take those out, you'll get your extraction chopper. Eventually. Roger. Out. Okay, there's the first one. Don't stare at me, soldier. We have enemies inbound, I can hear it! Stay sharp, guys. There's a lot of activity down there. I wonder what kind of handicap they have. I bet they're all really good players. I mean, they'd have to be, right?
go. One down.
golf course. You put that in the army brochure, enlistment would skyrocket. Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie, over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. Okay, all three SAM launches are out, but this operation isn't exactly covert anymore, over. You're doing good work, Sergeant. I'm not authorized to give you helicopter support at this time, but I'm dropping off a surprise that's gonna make your lives a little bit easier. Make your way to the drop zone ASAP, over. Affirmative, we're Oscar Mike to the drop zone, out.
drops a big, ugly flashlight, why did she drop this? It's a laser designator, meathead. You use it to guide in airstrikes. Heads up, hostile tank. Marlo, use that laser designator. Let's see what kind of ass we've got. Holy mother of a cow! Now I feel a itsy bitsy stupid for calling it a big ugly flashlight. Guys, regroup! Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike one, Juliet. Looks like you've stirred up a hornet's nest. We're seeing a whole lot of activity around the palace. Over. We're not exactly equipped for all-out war here. Over. There's a supply station close to your current location. I'm uploading the coordinates. Get over there and stock up. Over. Affirmative. Out. You heard her. Let's go shop. ASAP. Sarge! 
Can I drive one of these? That one, I promise I won't scratch it. I think my insurance would cover me. I need you on those guns, Haggard. Marlo, you're the designated driver. You think you can handle that?
tank spotted. Is that it? There's got to be more somewhere else.
by foot. It's pretty high. Good thing I don't have a problem with heights, because that would, you know, be a problem. Don't look down. John Lynn. Caught some briskets. You got him! I think it's the president. What's he saying? Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it, it sounds like he's asking for help. What kind of help? I don't know. I, I think he's locked himself inside the safe room and he can't get out. We'll get him out of there. Let's find him. Come on. Wow! This is an actual palace. It's like a, a Versailles? <laughs> no. Buckingham Palace? No! Disneyland? What's it called? Sanity.
Regroup! Uh, he thinks we're not being nice. Something about an enema, I think. Uh, and he doesn't want to come. Oh, he done pissed me off. What you? Uh, somebody translate this for me. What you really want isn't the question here. Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, Presidentia. Um, yeah, excellentia. Let me try. Your Excellency, Mr. Uh, President's call. Haggard, no, you don't, you don't speak, sir. To shut up. Yeah, yeah. I am in no need of witless translation. My English is wholly immaculate, Macron. Well, then you'll have no problem understanding this. We have come to bring you in. Bring you in. Just you. Just us. <laughs> Four puny military. Four puny military. Damn it, Haggard. Four puny military. He's no invasion. He's trespassing. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. We have the package. Repeat, we have the package. Request immediate extraction. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Leave the package. Repeat, leave the package. And you're not going to like this, Sergeant, but extraction is denied. Over. Denied? What do we have to do to get the bird here? Over? I hate to tell you this, boys, but it's not gonna happen. We're going for deniability. You're on your own. Over. What do you mean we're on our own? How do we get out? Over? Any way you can. This isn't my call, boys. There's nothing I can do. They're telling me to cut you loose. I'm sorry. Out. So it's like that, then. Fellas, they're leaving us hanging out to drive. Yeah, shit. Now we're never getting out of here. I may have means for our escape. Our escape? I am afraid the father of Sedaristan people now has no other recourse than exile. It was a mistake to request the services of these mercenaries. Hang on a minute. The Legionnaire is holding you here? Well, since I could not deliver the amount of gold he requested, he has appropriated my nation. But I will prevail. The Sedaristan people will rise up and demand the return of their beloved father. This guy's funny when he's in a hallucinogenic rage. And what's more, he may come in handy. Yeah, right, like tits on a bull. Well, just sit up already and tell us how to get out of here. Oh, my beautiful golden helicopter. She is crippled like a wingless swan. <laughs> oh, as a boy, I had a swan. Masha was her name. Oh, God, shut up, El Presidente. Hey, that felt pretty good. Sheriff, the two of you. Preston, we need to set the bird down and repair it. I can't believe Miss July hung up on us like that. It wasn't her fault. The army sold us out. I should have learned I could trust them by now. Why would they do that? Just leave us. Well, things probably got out of hand. 
And we are bad company, remember? Expendable assets. Preston, get out and see if you can find a power tube to fix this chopper. Good job, Marlo. Let's see if this flying disco ball can do anything. Take out those trucks over there. What's that sound? If you want to try the gunner seat, let me know. I'll put it in hover. Okay, no more practice for you. Let's get the hell out of here. You're flying good, Preston. Now try to fly even better. Can't we put the chopper down and shoot these guys like we're used to? We'll guard the bird. Take your time. We got some amazing CDs here. You remember this? You remember when this first came out back in the 80s? God, it was garbage even then.
up a little. See those fuel silos up ahead?
world. Great for online dating. Destroying it to make it easier for us to the downstream. But I think you need to do it on foot, Marlo. Oh! <laughs> 
something downstream. And maybe we can get some more information out of His Excellency here. They're moving their supplies. Let's hit them.
coming! Yes, Shidar is a great sailing nation, <laughs> considering our only body of water is sewage treatment plant. Not for much longer, it ain't. to now stay and defend the chopper. And also protect VIP. You're only alive as long as we can use you. Very harsh, but fair.
Okay, guys, get the bird refueled and let's get her up in the air. I'll do it. I'll do it, Sarge. We'll be out of here in no time. Was that? What did you do to the chopper, Haggard? What? Wasn't me. Honest. I was filling it up and it just blew. You put the gas in there? That's the cooling unit. Oh! Well, excuse me for not reading gobbledygook. Shut up, you two. Sweetwater, get this sword. We're gonna hold this ground. Anything happens to the chopper, we're dead. Get to it. The Shadarashtan army is cowardly and badly trained, but over the years I have tried to compensate this with an excess of advanced hardware, as you can see! Oh, God damn it, that's hostile armor! Sweetwater, you better quit dicking around! But Sarge, I haven't had time to reset the- I don't care! Let's go! Now! But if it's not working, then it's not- Shit, it's working! <laughs> it's working! Marlo, back to the chopper! And this is where you're getting off. For an exile, it is quite inadequate. I'm in need of further transportation. Well, where we're going, you can't come. Yeah? But where exactly are we going? You've got a short memory, Sweetwater. I don't. The gold. You're talking about the gold. But we don't know where they took it. With all the mercs around here, I bet we can find out. You are talking about the gold of Treacherous Legionnaire. <laughs> I know where it is. You know where it is? Yes, yes, of course. And I am sure we can come to some agreement. Oh, yeah. You hear that, sweet? Yeah. But I'd like to come to some agreement about the black chopper coming up behind us. What? Shit. Mom! 
There has to be better ways to start a new career. But you know what they say about hitting the bottom. It really, really hurts. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Over. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Everyone's gone. I think they've been taken. I don't know what to do. Please advise, over. Is anyone there? Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. You're back. Can you help me out, over? Officially, we're denying all knowledge about your trip to Sadaristan. As far as command is concerned, you're AWOL as well as dead. But I just can't quit on my boys, over. You don't know how glad I am to hear that. Do you have a location fix on me? Over? Looks like Russia to me. Over. I think my squad's been taken prisoner. Can you send someone to help me out? Over? Negative. This is strictly extracurricular. Listen, I can see you on the satellite, and I'll try to help, but you can't contact me. Understand? Over. I got you. Over. I'm picking up radio signals from a village near your position. Some kind of military installation. I think you should look for your boys there. Out. Thank you, Miss July. Можно со скуки.
Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Looks like the location has been vacated. I'm picking up one heat source now, but that's probably you. If they were there before, they must have moved them. Listen, I've managed to find out a couple of things about the area you're in. There's some kind of communications hub deeper in the valley. Get over there and see if you can find some information. Out.
Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. There's a lot of activity up at the monastery. Something's up. You'd better hurry. Out. Идет.
сказали чушь, белыми лапа. А когда они припрут сюда, перестрелять ко всем чертям. Я что-то слышу.
пехота идет. From intel, I managed to scrounge an old outline of the monastery. Not a lot of details, but it looks like there may be a hidden entrance in the eastern wall. Take a look, but stay low. Out. Идет. Оружие к бою. Come <laughs> on! 
Preston, great to see you, buddy. Now we thought you were dead for sure. What are you doing here? Uh, looking for you. So, you came to rescue us. That's great, man. I mean, well, not really necessary, but thanks anyway. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad to have you back, Marlo. But we need to get out of here before the enemy regroup. Yeah, we gotta try and find this uh, Sirdar fella, because he knows where the gold is. Have you seen him? Do you know where he is? Not really, no. But Haggard figures if we just stumble around the monastery for a while thinking happy thoughts, maybe we'll run into him. I mean, that is the plan, right, Haggard? I wouldn't have put it exactly like that, but yep, pretty much. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Are you still with me, Marlo? Any luck finding the others? Over. Oh, he's had a little bit of luck. Over. We're all here. How you doing yourself? I swear, you are from SweetVoices.com. I know it. Yeah, she told you, Haggard. Since you asked, I am fine, thank you. And I'm very glad to hear you're all back together. Over. We're trying to locate Sirdar. You got an idea where they might be holding him? Over. I don't know, but there's a lot of activity down by the river mouth. Maybe you should check there. Over. Okay, Mike, want you to get stay in touch. Over. I'll do my best. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. I can't really talk right now, but I'm getting multiple hostiles very close to your position. Oh shit, out. Let's get the hell out of here and find the vehicle ASAP.
got an APC car! Commandos at the gate. Let's go. Oh, here will be a
Hey, that's the same chopper that brought us down at the border. Yeah, and I have a pretty good idea who it belongs to. Look, it's the president. It seems your American friends have escaped. They won't get far. Those imperialist pigs are not my friends. You tried to escape from your debts, and they helped you. It was no escape, but an abduction. Most fine. I realize now that I will never get the gold you owe me. I will forget about your debt and take your country instead. <laughs> Absolutely not a problem. I will go into exile, live a quiet life. Hmm. I'm sure you will. Kill him. I will not beg for my life. Smarty pants? Ah, uh, both you motor mouths. Shut up. Just follow me. It's a miracle. I'm not dead. Hello, your highness. Remember us, Pookums? Yes, yes. Imperialist pigs. Uh, very nice. Just shut up already. Let's take that boat. Hey, guys, look. There it is. Yeah. I told you we'd see that boat again. It's a Legion L. Well, at least we're in the right place. So, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna have to take the long way around. Let's start by securing the beach. I kinda like this place. Looks like somewhere I could go for a vacation. Sure, if you don't mind the snipers, or the mines on the beach. Or the smell of death? Actually, guys, if memory serves, they were about to build a big resort thing here before the war started, and, uh, you don't really care, do you? Listen, if we ever had a shot at the gold, this is it. Let's find a vehicle and go around to the coast in Sadiers. We'll try to get as close as possible to that ship, and then... And then we'll what? Then we'll improvise. Okay, guys, uh, am I the only one starting to get cold feet about this? Yep. Embrace the suck, sweets. Embrace the suck.
coming! Looks like next to me. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike one, Juliet. Did you boys take a wrong turn? You're in Cadiz. Over? No. We're KIA, remember? What we're doing is nobody's business anymore. Over. I guess you're right. But you're making it awfully hard for me to help you. And Cadiz is a hornet's nest. Over. Sarge, tell her. You remember when I hung up on you back in Sadaristan? We were on the track of some gold. The Legionnaire's gold, if that means anything to you. Over? I've heard the stories. Over. We've got some pretty good intel saying it's here. We're gonna try to grab it. Over. Things being what they are, I can't really blame you. But be advised, U.S. forces are moving into the area. Looks like it might be quite a brawl, so watch out for friendly fire. Over. Huh, I don't even know which fire is friendly anymore. Over. And hey, don't you boys forget me if you hit the mother load. Out. Just tell me your favorite color, baby!
Rocket!
the snot out of us with 155s. Someone clobber those guns, for Christ's sake. Uh-oh. Hear that? Yeah. Mick. Sounds like our guys are taking a hell of a hammer. This isn't our war anymore. I don't care about the war, but those are still our guys getting blown to pieces over there. Retaliation. Best keep going.
Heads up, guys. Four tanks closing in. This is gonna hurt. Take cover! Lit up like a Christmas tree! and the first wave will reach your position in a couple of minutes. We're gonna secure the bridges to the south, and then we should be able to take the rest of town pretty easily. Watch out for friendly fire. Out. Shit. The U.S. assault is coming this way. If they catch up with us, we're never gonna be able to get that gold. She said something about bridges, right? If we blow those, maybe you can hold them long enough to get to the ship. You wanna stop the U.S. advance? Wouldn't that be, like, treason? I'm not saying stop it. I'm saying hold it off for a while. Not the same thing. Oh, I think it'd be enough to get us executed. As far as the army's concerned, we're already dead, remember? And Hagger's right. We gotta blow those bridges.
bad guy. Yeah, the question is just which bad guy? Someone sure opened a can of whoop ass on this place. Coming up on sardines. Get ready. So, Hags, still want to book a vacation here?
mercenaries. Great. So now we're fighting the mechs, the mercenaries, our own boys. Hey, wouldn't it be great if the Russians showed up too? We're not gonna get past. We've gotta create some kind of diversion. Haggard, you up for it? Can I bring Preston? Yeah, the two of you draw their attention, and Sweets and me will see if we can find that goal. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. If you can hear me, there's an army recon supply drop close to your position. I'm sending you the coordinates. Guess someone appreciated your help after all. Good luck, boys. Out. See, friends? It's horrible. Let's see what they drop. Sounds good to me. Come on, friends. Let's check it out. Another laser designator. Call in a strike on that big old fuel silo over there. That should shake things up a little. This is Eagle 2, cleared at 5 miles, bearing 180 Angel 5. Stand by for GDAM. I think it works. Let's see if they come this way. It's working. Armor and hostiles moving your way now. Try to catch up and we'll see you down by the harbor. Keep your head down! Spotted.
chopper still up there. Kind of like air. not moving already then it's time you get started we saw a car on the way over here that you could probably use i'm sending you the coordinates oh that sucks no troops i bet we're gonna have to keep shooting at each other then fine all right fine by me bravo one charlie this is mike one juliet you're in the kill box we're about to drop some heavy rain on your position get out of there now out
Stand by for bomb drop. Problem. Wasn't a spook story. Oh no! Look at it! Yeah. Please! It's true. It's true. Tons of gold. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Well, I'll be damned. I really didn't want to ruin the moment, but we had no idea how we were going to get the gold out of there. And the bad guy was still, you know. Alive and kicking. Come on! We need to get out of here! Don't shit! You want me to make a plan for you? Maybe I do! We need a bigger gun! I think I know where to find one! Follow me, but fast! I think we lost them. You think? Was that your idea of a plan? Oh, just sit with you two. Now it's payback time. You sound tense, Sarge. You sleeping all right? I don't know, Haggard. I'm really impressed with the Sarge's mastered use of the leadership cliche. Oh, just shut up, fools. Here it comes. It's coming around again. Watch it, Graz. It's the Legionnaire! can't take it down with what we got. So what, that's it? We get to the goal and then we die? That's it, it ain't gone on that fear. That's our best bet. What are we waiting for? 
starting to pull your weight in this squad. Heck yeah, you can watch my back any day. Yeah, not bad for a new guy. Well, guys... Hey, let's just get back to the gold. It's been great to finally become a part of... Hey, guys, anyone actually thought about how we're gonna get the gold out of here? There you go again. Negative, negative, negative. Well, you got any idea how heavy it's gonna be? We're gonna be the richest GIs in the world. Can't you just smell the coffee and be happy about that? 
Shut it, Haggard. I guess it was too good to be true. Look what your negative thoughts brung us. Oh, so this is all my fault. Doesn't matter. We blew it. Let's just get out of here before they spot us. Soldiers! What are you waiting for? Sir, uh, uh, we're a group of highly, uh, embedded, uh... Sir, the area's secure. Just waiting for new orders, sir. Take that truck and follow the convoy. The, the, uh, the, that truck, sir? Yeah, that truck full of, uh, scrap metal. Move out! Sir, sir yes, sir! Wars are fought for any number of reasons. Sometimes, if the ones they give you aren't good enough, you have to find your own. And, maybe, if you're lucky, you get out in one piece. But in the end, I guess it's really about the guys next to you. Trachosaurus Rex, here I come! Grad school, here I come! Woohoo! Let's go fishing!